Hi Libra, it's Lulu. And today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. Thank you. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Any information that you need is in the description box, darling. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's get something straight real quick because I just did a reason. I don't know if they're going to be cool with me or come out of bed. It really don't matter. Ain't no telling tonight. Now, if you are new here, when I do readings at night, ain't no telling what might come up. Okay. It's Neptunian energy here at night. So, I'm, I'm, you know, it's just going to flow, baby. Okay. We got out the little stuff we went through last year. It's a whole new year. We ready for the work and doing all the things that we need to. Yes. Now then. Just need to make that disclaimer because it is what it is. Okay? It's late. Now, Libra, if don't nobody else know, your ass is supposed to know. Thank you. Let's see what's going on for the Libras. What do you have for the Libras? Ooh, this is what you got for the Libras. Well, well, well. Look who's been doing a lot of thinking. Uh oh, you got the goddess of the moon at the bottom. You see here. Now let's read these label. Now, I feel here. Some of you may be uh, getting pregnant. It's your life, baby. But I'm seeing that there's some relocation. There may be some kind of um, delay in travel here. Okay. Some of you are closing deals. Okay, coming into your own closing deals and also like um, you may even begin to um, harness your Venus energy even more so in the coming months. So be mindful of that because you will be attracting um, a lot of people, children, animals. There's going to be a, a huge attraction. So you want to be ready for that here. Yeah, I know y'all used to it. Whatever. Now, it's going to be on 1000 Libra. Um, I also feel that some of you may be split between having to do work for someone um, in your family. It's a split in the home life, whatever that means to you. I really feel like that. Um, like you're in two different locations or doing, um, being pulled in two different directions and have like a test of your will, a test of your strength, a, te a test of... Um, dedication and discipline so let's see what they're talking about we'll go with it anyways Ooh, maybe dealing with a cancer Ooh, somebody's trying to be in love somebody's trying to be in love Ooh, it's a commitment coming off up and through here whether you are committing to a business partnership um committing to it's you committing to somebody or somebody committing to you honey now, this ain't for everybody, all right? Because I'm not going to be a Libra at that time. Y'all already know the vibes. I got to figure it out. First card out is victory. Your hard work is paying off your dedication. Whatever it is that you have been going through, you are moving forward with where you want to go and how you want to do it. There's a lot of stabilizing the root chakra. Stabilizing the foundation of the home and how you do things around the home. Um... Maybe even some type of, uh, I don't know if you're doing a restoration project or a, re a restoration. Rest restoration. I don't know. Let's see here. Yeah. This is a, something that's moving rapidly to a rapid completion here. This may be the energy that you are in and moving forward. You may have be embracing um, yourself fully from whatever it is that you may have gone through. You are now in a space of being, um, do, you know, doing your self-care rituals, doing your, um, working on self-love and the, the conversations that you, being very gentle with yourself and other people is what I really, really feel like. There may have been a time here 
that you had been moving so much or doing so much that you weren't giving yourself time or you weren't giving time to certain things that required your attention. And now you're in a space of gratitude. You're in a space of um, something about softness. Um, let's see here. Taking a softer approach. Some of you may even be getting a new vehicle here. Treating yourself. Maybe this is a vacation and you meet an earth sign. Maybe this is a vacation and you, somebody's a boss that you are um, dealing with or will be dealing with. It depends on who you are, where you are, and what you got going on. Maybe an earth sign here. You're being pulled together with this person. Been like, you may be drawn to them. This is stable. This person is stable. You are stable. And it may be that you are in a uh, this space where you are ready to reconcile with this person. You're in a space where you are welcoming this relationship here. Wanting to draw this in here. Whoever this is that you are connecting with is very wise. They may be very finance, um, finance, uh, business savvy. But what I'm getting here is that they have information that you may need. You may be connecting. Like they have information that you may need. And you have the soft and gentleness that they need. If that makes sense, right? If you are speaking man, woman, masculine, feminine, it makes sense, right? So I really feel that way here. You may begin to feel like you're not getting enough time, effort, or attention from someone here. Let's see what's going on. Let's take our time. Clarify this angel a little for Libra. Oh, won't she do it? Oh, won't she do it? How won't she do it? Lovers, hoes. Ooh, this is good integer. Hmm? In this deck now, if it was this other, uh, what you call it? Now, the lovers making a choice to really welcome this in. Welcome in this new beginning when it comes to what it is that you desire, what it is that you deserve when it comes to a connection. And like, look at this how their feet and their hands are crossing. Hmm? I feel like this is someone that you will allow to take the lead. This is someone who um, you are, you feel safe with or are learning to be feel safe with here. If it's someone that you've been dealing with, maybe you are making a choice to go ahead and make this connection work. Okay. I don't know your life, baby, but like I said, <laughs> I was right on that motherfucker. I was right on Emma. All right, it's too late for that. Now, what is this, Envy? Aries just got that card too, but it's in a different... Okay, so there may be some type of jealousy or envy. Libra, I already know. Please don't be in the comments because, you know, Libras get this a lot, right? There's no need to worry about it because the, the job that you came here to do, the way that you came here to work, things that you came here to do, bring balance and harmony, be diplomatic. It's going to always have a couple of, you know, it's fine. Look, they want you to move forward with clarity, calm clarity. This is the pursuit of justice, the pursuit of something new. This is also the chariot, clarifying. So this is a lot of movement. This is you allowing yourself to be, um, to assess things. Hmm? It's a seven. It's time, the way, the way that you used to move forward, the way that you used to um, move away from things and how you did is changing. This is that insight coming in. This is a message possibly coming in. It may even be that this is a triggering message that um, pushes you even more so into your protecting your, uh, the fruits of your labor, protecting um, your security. Some of you may have someone spying on you. What? It is late than a motherfucker. Let's get into it. There may be someone spying on you. There may be so much jealousy and people throwing darts at you here with this envy card um, because they don't see their truth. They are looking at your truth and wanting it to be their truth or saying that you don't deserve what it is that you have, honey. Here's the thing. Use that chariot and turn your ways if this is happening to you. Try not to give it any, because see how he's not even looking at it? He's uh, moving forward and he's leaving behind. So this is how this goes. Leave it behind. Like I see it, leave it behind, you know. Someone trying to uh, rain on your parade, let them leave it behind. Now, the other way that I'm seeing this really quick, because that's what came out first. And y'all already, I, I already did my disclaimer, so I'm going to let that go. Now, the other way that I'm seeing this is that with this, uh, there may be some feelings of lack or some feelings of... Um, 
uh, not being enough, some type of stress or what have you. This comes through. This comes through and cuts like a like a knife, right? This sword, this ace of swords comes through and cuts like a knife. Your intuition, you won't doubt it. The nudges that come in or some information that comes in that gives you clarity so that you can move forward. I also feel that you may have to decide between two different paths that open up at once and this is the clarity that comes in to show you that the path that you've already been on is the path that the direction that you need to go. Um, something is finally ending in order for this new beginning, in order for this um, pursuit of uh, a new life, a new life cycle opening up. Now, with this um, chariot, this is you asserting yourself. This is you being disciplined in um, following your inner GPS, right? If you are in a car, you follow the, what the GPS says uh, to get where it is that you are going. So you are using your GPS, you know what I mean? Now. To get where it is that you are going and stand on the path here because there's going to be a lot of messages a lot of communication coming in that is going to lead you to um a desired outcome right this is also uh your your into your connection to the divine opening up even more so to where whatever you may have doubted in the past when it comes to your direction when you begin to doubt and this clarity comes in, they want you to accept the clarity for what it is. That's why you need to know yourself. It is important for you to know what is of you and what is not, right? Because there may even be um, old thoughts or um, conversations that arise that have something to do with holding you hostage in where you are when you're supposed to be asserting yourself and using your discipline to move forward. That's what they said, baby. Now. Got the root chakra, stabilizing of the root chakra with this movement. It's crossing the chariot, um, pulling yourself together. No more double-mindedness. You know where you need to go and how you need to go. The scales are constantly balancing, so go ahead and smooth that out, Libra. It's time. You're finally seeing where, um, you're finally seeing You're finally seeing where you need what you, what needs to be secured. Um, you're finally seeing where what you need to invest in, who you need to invest in. But this is resolving a lot of old issues. This is resolving um, even if the the root chakra has been off balance uh, due to um, you are needing to clear certain energies here. The Lord energies this is where we're going with it here today there may be something that has to do with your lower extremities your lower energy maybe your legs your feet something feels heavy tired weighed down that's time for you to release here it's connected to the past so you resolve those issues you secure the foundation creating a new foundation in order for you to move forward whether it's in a relationship or however you take this um, there's so many different ways that I feel like Libra can take this root chakra issue, this uh, foundation of this animalistic connection to things that no longer serve you, um, feeding the lower nature, you see. Let's just clarify it. Because if you don't do it when you're supposed to, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. It's like anchoring yourself. Anchoring and creating a, a, a stern foundation, possibly between you and your partner, because that is crossing here and, and how you communicate with them and what needs to be said and when it needs to be said, getting yourself together before communicating or um, offering some type of resolve or what have you. Here's what I'm getting to. The same way that a boat needs an anchor uh, to be anchored at a dock, I believe that's how it go, um, dropping the anchor, dropping the anchor, Dropping the anchor. Anchoring yourself. Positioning yourself. Stabilizing. Where you are, how you are, and what you do. You see. Let's see here, because it's a shit storm coming over there. And you know in a shit storm, if you ain't anchored, you gonna get swept away. You ain't your little motherfucking boat. I got a yacht. <laughs> You and your canoe. Moving forward. I mean, I ain't trying to outdo you or nothing, but I'm just saying. It's a yacht. You need to figure out what your boat is and anchor that motherfucker. I told you it's a canoe. What kind of boat do you really have, Libra? Let me know. Now, 
what is this root chakra and what it got to do with? Mm. See? Something beautiful is coming. There's a, something is being uh, brought to your attention before the shit storm. See? That's where that Ace of Swords came in. They want you to trust yourself more, assert yourself here. Any possible leaks in your foundation, any possible uh, people that may be around you that while you are rowing your boat, they are poking holes in your boat and you don't know it. Um, be mindful of who it is that you trust and how you trust and make sure that you're not trusting easily. I just really feel that something is being brought, uh, something is br being brought to the light. And when it when it's brought to um, the light, when it's brought to your attention, the way that you act on it will be um, uh, considered spiritually um, with how you will be rewarded karmically in the future. So how you handle this is handling yourself, handling what you got going on and knowing that the information that you received prior to um, the need to resolve certain issues and how you need to be more optimistic about what's to come and know that you will handle whatever comes up. This is going, this is, they're preparing you before it even happens. So, uh, test, um, the people, it's like having certain conversations and realizing what, what people are saying when they, what they're not saying and what they are saying, what they are doing and what they're not doing. Like really testing what people uh, care, uh, to what they give their attention to. What do they give their, this has something to do with. Things that come up that were supposed that are supposed to break you down or have you in your feelings. Now y'all know we don't do feelings like that too much. Now come on, and mess up our makeup, get the crying and shit. <laughs> but whatever this is, you're gonna see it before it happens and be able to like. That's why you need to be very much so mindful, present, and aware prior to this occurring. Because this shit storm is right behind. Like, you're going to have a chance to really get on, get things together. You had two chariot cards. With this sun card, it's like you will be, um, you, the first thought, the first feeling will be, oh, no, fight or flight, right? You're going to stand and fight, stabilize. And it's not necessarily that you are um, actually fighting or actually uh, coming up against an opponent, it's more about stabilizing your foundation and what you have going on, making peace with situations before they happen, and they won't have much of an impact on you or anything around you when these things are revealed. Moving forward, that took all day. Now, what is this shit storm, honey? Because remember, what a shit storm, whenever something comes to rock your boat, whenever something comes to, um, you know, something that was meant to possibly um, harm or tear down, destroy, it's very important that you sit with calm clarity and you wait, you watch, observe, because everything doesn't require, isn't uh, worthy of your attention, your energy, your effort here. Cause I feel like there may be a woman. This is what's crossing it. A woman now. So there may be a female here, maybe an earth sign or whatever sign here. <clears throat> that this is tied to. You know, it could be a water sign with the storm card, even though the storm card is, but I just picked that up. Even though the storm card is um, the tower. So that's how you know. If the tower is coming after the, the root, that lets you know that you are already stabilizing so the tower isn't directly affecting you because you're preparing yourself for whatever may come or whatever is supposedly coming. Because I feel like this is something outside of you. This isn't something that is happening where, because um, you've done a lot of the work already. This is something that's coming in to test your, um, to see how strong you really are. See how it, much in your truth that you are standing. Damn. Whew. Hold on, Libra now. What is this storm for Libra? Yeah, you are walking away or walked away from your old way of doing things. You walk things. You walked away from your um, uh, delusions when it comes to um, how you view things, and you're facing truths in a certain situation. 
here. So something that you've walked away from or some kind of, listen, it's probably a way of being that you walked away from or what you, you know, something that you grew from, uh, when it comes to how you handle your emotions, how you handle your feelings, whatever it is that you walked away from and grew from and have learned and you've done the work and that you're ready to move forward, going after your wish fulfillment, your desires, ready to have a good time with that sun card, ready to uh, birth some new creative projects into the world, whatever it is. That's what I'm telling you. With this eight of cups, you walked away from a certain situation and by doing so, this upset someone. Uh, someone is saying that they cannot affect you the way that they used to. Something is happening here and it's being revealed to you here. Maybe revealed in smoke, whatever that means to you. But I really feel that in meditation, it's going to be clear as day. Or even with you sitting in the eye of a storm, in the eye of disaster, in the eye of turmoil, chaos, confusion, you see the truth in it. And it's a beautiful thing. Once you do, you're ready to uh, clear out, maybe with a Taurus, Leo, whoever. You are ready to clear out um, that the way that you communicate. Because now you see what works for you and what doesn't. So some of you may even be elevating your way of communicating, speaking, um, talking, teaching, you see, with this throat chakra. So you may be hoarse. You may go through... Um, swelling of the lymph nodes. You may go through um, having tingles in the throat. There may be a number of things that you go through to help this process. Go ahead and drink warm liquids. Um, I feel that's what I feel. Now, I ain't no doctor, but you know. <laughs> now, this is master number 11 as well. So I really feel like many of you are being ascent. They're taking this to a whole other level. Whatever it is that you do, whatever type of work that you do as an entrepreneurial intuitive, you are taking this to a whole other, like you passed the test. You are seeing also where things that used to affect you, things that could used to uh, poke at you or um, get under your skin, things that used to be able to, uh, you know, if you, you weren't fully anchored, that you would, you know, float away and shit with the debris and all of that or whatever from the tornado and the hurricane and the moving forward because the tornado is on dry land. But this is my house. I can make up the rules. Now, there's some communication coming through. I also feel that someone that you are um, tied with is trying to get their finances together or trying to see uh, if they are financially compatible with you or trying to help they're trying to get their self together in order to uh, get to the point where they can communicate with you from a more um, stable place. What else that means here? Moving forward. But that's what I feel, though. Um, told you. Because <laughs> it went back. It went back. Somebody's married up and getting 10 cups. <clears throat> Because <clears throat> remember the lovers, hmm? y'all were working together, whatever. And now, you know, it's like, oh, okay, we're getting a little closer. It's kind of, you know, somebody needs to make a choice. Someone makes a choice. And when they make the choice, or when they make the choice, this is someone, uh, between you and this person, there's emotional uh, fulfillment, emotional intelligence. This is the coming together. This may even be that someone wants to communicate that they want to take the relationship to the judge. I want to take the relationship to the judge. I'm trying to make you a honest woman, a man. I don't know your life. Like, who name you taking? You putting a dash on it. Moving forward. Not my business. Now, here we are. So there's some type of commitment. Someone is saying that they want to stay in the relationship or start a relationship or what have you. Whatever this means to you here. I also feel that uh, some of you may be inheriting the family home or... Uh, Mm. There may be a blending of families here. Blended family. Now, what is this? Temper your finances. Do the, the um, temper uh, practical and spiritual matters. This is going with the ebb and flow of uh, universal order. Um, I also feel that there is um, financial gain here with a uh, earth sign or a Sagittarius here she clarified her 
she clarified her. So there may be someone uh, here that is very business savvy. Now I'm seeing this four ways, but we're going to do two, I think. The first way, you want to be mindful of how uh, uh, how you are balancing the practical and spiritual, just practical and spiritual matters, right? Um, but I also feel that there's some, there may be some type of aggression or the way that you have learned to, um, with that throat chakra clearing out, now you see how to deal with the person that may try, have tried to start the shit, the shit storm or tried to start trouble once it's revealed to you that this was who, who was behind it. The other way that I'm seeing this is that there's a... emotional connection to your business here there's an emotional connection to your finances and you want to go ahead and balance that out as well you don't want to be too involved in what you can't take which moving forward it's not my business i don't tell people what to do i don't tell people what to do like okay calm down i'm gonna get out of here that's what i'm gonna do Ooh, ooh, ooh that means uh, some of y'all need to learn how to give your partner a little more love. Some of y'all need to learn how to give your partner a little more love. Look at this. See, you dealing with a boss and you might be a boss or you are in control of how you move and, and how you, you know, Stella get her groove. And it's coming in, something is coming in to show you like, no, this is how we're going to do this. And it's going to take for you to be very patient. It's going to take for you to, uh, if this relationship is going to the next level or if you're making some type of commitment, it's time for you to, um, what does it mean to you now to be in this commitment? What does it mean to you now to be in a partnership? It may be business and, business and love. Love in the business. I'm going to go. Now, that's the other way I'm seeing it. You realizing that, look, because, you know, y'all women out here, y'all bosses and stuff. I'm trying to be like y'all when I grow up. You see what I mean? So, you out here with your business, doing your thing, you know, and then, boom, somebody come in like, baby, I want to be with you. I want to, you know, spend the rest of my life with you. I want to make you mine. I want, you know, because it's looking like we fulfill each other. It's looking like we complete each other. You trying to figure out, I don't know how this work. But they said, be patient with the process, honey, because this is a connection. That's the lovers again. This is the connection that was destined to happen. It's going to happen at the right time. It's going to happen at the right time. Uh, now, the other way that I'm seeing this is that you're, it's important for you to be patient with yourself and pull yourself together, taking time out to pull back from working so much and take and, and really get, again, go back into that self-care. Go back into that spiritual break as well. Take your God and goddess breaks here. And uh, do the intertwining of the masculine and feminine energies in order for you to move forward with success, optimism, enthusiasm to get shit done is what they say. Remember, whatever it is you walked away from, victory is assured and them 10 cups come. All right, Libra, that's it, baby. You took up too much of my time. It's late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm later than a pregnant woman, period. All right. Bye.